guys, we are here with the fourth and final um, video for the Four Artists, Four Seasons digital background exchange hop thing with Bea Grob, Peg Robinson, and Chelsea. All right, so this um, time we're doing winter and the ladies came up with some really great winter backgrounds. This is what I have left of the ones I printed because I've used them. Um, as usual, the ones that I've created will be available in a free um, file over in Dropbox. I'll link it in the description below. Um, but these are all the different ones, mine and theirs. I, I, they did some really great ones. They're just simple, uncomplicated digital prints of backgrounds that they did of their art. And our purpose was to show you what you could do with something like this. Um, and uh, I think we've come up with some new and unique and different ways. Because we're approaching the end of the year and the holiday season, I really wanted to do something appropriate to that. So I'm going to revive an oldie but a goodie on my channel and we're gonna make these. So if you've been following my channel for a while, you know what these are. If you've gotten an Etsy order for me, you also have one of these because every Etsy order that goes out gets one of these. These are just little small note cards um, simply made um, from things I have in stock or that are inexpensive to get. And um, I will link the envelope. I wanna say it's an A1 size, but I don't remember. Um, but it's a particular size of envelope. I will link it in the description below. I get them from Amazon. Um, anyway, um, the cardstock base that I use is just a plain solid colored cardstock. I get them in packs like this um, from your local craft and hobby shop in the scrapbooking department. This one is from um, Hobby Lobby. They're four and a half by six and a half. This one is all craft colored cardstock, but they come in different colored packs, rainbow colored. Um, there is one that has, and I did pull a few out that's got like cream and gray and white. Um, so they have different ones. So pick the one that's gonna work for you. Most of the time I just use craft. I also have some black ones that I use occasionally. I try to make my cards pretty gen general um, so they could be used for a lot of different things. Um, usually they'll say something like happy day or congratulations or I do do some thank you ones specifically, but they don't always all say that. I have a sentiment sticker download in my Etsy shop, and this is one of the sheets from that. And to be honest, I'm not sure I have enough stickers to do all the cards I wanna to do today, but I guess we'll find out. Um, but the sentiments say things like, thank you, hello, congratulations, happy day, thinking of you. So they're the type of sentiments that you could use for lots of different occasions. Um, I also print out, um, I have other word printables printed on um, stickers. These are Avery label, label sheets. These are label, label sheet number 5167. And I have um, like Believe, Grow, Glorious, Love. I, I use these also on the cards. Um, happy, Strength, uh, Freedom, Breathe, Live, Open, uh, Explore, Motivate, Strength. So these were not only um, d developed and done for art journaling and those kind of projects, but I also did them with the cards in mind. Um, so there's lots of different downloadables like that on my Etsy shop. So you're gonna need some sentiment stickers or if you have lots of word stickers, if you're like me and you're a word sticker addict, because I not only have mine, but hello, these are all words, these are just word stickers. Um, you could go through these and there's probably ones in here that you could use. Um, deep breath that would be that would work on a card especially if you're trying hard to keep them uh, generic and having a stock of them to just have around and when the occasion arises whether it's somebody that just needs a hey hello i'm thinking about you or it's a birthday or congratulations i heard you're having a baby or you know the front can just say congratulations and then you personally write a note on the inside I put more value to that than a store-bought greeting card to be honest with you um, so the sentiment on the outside on the cover can just be pretty generic and then um, you can write your specific message on the inside so 
all of these will work. I, I collect word sticker. I'm a word sticker addict, so it's a thing. All right, so how do you make these exactly? I'll show you. Um, so we'll put these aside. I cut a lot of um, the backgrounds from some other paper too that I have laying around because I need to make more cards. I'm running low. Um, these are the winter ones we're going to work on. Put these over here. Um, so you want to cut your patterned paper to about two and a half by four. And then I always like to round the edges. Um, if you, I use, who knows what this is? If you're old school, you know what this is. This is a Creative Memories Corner Rounder. I do have other corner punches and you can get really fancy with it or you can just keep it simple and use a corner rounder. This one I've had for a really long time. It still works like a champ, um, but use what you have. You can leave it, leave it square too if you so choose. You'll need some sentiment stickers and then you're gonna need your card stock so, and a glue stick, glue stick. So the first thing you wanna do, uh, and you want something to push, let's see, like a bone folder or something. All right, first thing you wanna do is fold your cards. First thing you wanna do is put the glasses on. Okay, all right, now I can see what I'm doing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to fold the card stock in half. Now, you could get your thing out and crease it and like all that jazz. I have one, I have two of them, I think. I hardly use them. So you wanna crease your card stock. Then you're gonna get your one of your backgrounds and some glue <clears throat> and a scrap piece of paper. And we're gonna glue. We're gonna center that on the card. Just eyeball it. Get a gift card or something with a straight edge and push it down. Now sort of as a bonus um, thing, if you have lots of um, pre-cut out embellishments, like I do, if you're like me, you have a, a drawers full of these things. Let's take them out and let's use them. You don't have to get fancy with it. Uh, you can if you want to. These are just simple, quick, easy cards. And I will usually just have a selection of things out, which I do right now. And I just grab things at random. Then I grab a sentiment. I want to use this one up first. Just like that. That's all there is to it. I'm going to make a whole bunch of cards and I'll be right back.
Okay, I made a lot of these. Most of them are drying, um, but I love them. They turned out great. Now, yes, this is something I've done on my channel before. I've showed how to make these little cottage before. I'll link the other videos in the description below. The way that I make them has not changed that much. I use painty papers or digital background prints for the background. I have, as most of you do probably too, loads of printed embellishments, handmade embellishments, um, stickers, something like that to add to the background, and then the sentiment. They're all made the same way. You can use a glue stick, you can use tacky glue. Um, the card stock is cheap and inexpensive. Um, everything to de decorate the cover you probably already have. If you don't have labels to print out sentiments, you probably have word stickers in your stash. Use those, use them up. These make great little cards and the envelopes are, I think a 10 or $11 for a hundred and they are an A1 size envelope. I'm gonna put the link in the description below um, for um, the sentiments and everything. So this is just one of many things you can do with a digital background. We've done some interesting stuff with them this year, um, as have everyone else in the hop. I'm gonna link all their videos in the description below, and I do have a um, playlist for all the videos that I did, so if you would like to check out the other ones where I did the wall hanging and we printed on fabric and all of that stuff, um, then you're more than welcome. Uh, that's it for right now. I hope this gives you some great ideas of what you can do with your digital backgrounds. Maybe you have a pile of digital backgrounds laying around in a bin somewhere like I do, and you're like, what do I do with all these? I feel like I need to use them up. Make some cards. It is the holiday season coming up, and um, you know, you're gonna need to, if nothing else, send thank you cards out. Um, I Again, I like to keep these around the house because when I need to send someone a, hey, I'm thinking of you card, um, I can grab one that says hello, um, or, I can, if it's their birthday, happy day, or congratulations. Um, you know, I have thinking of you. There's a lot of, and I also have lots of thank you cards. So at the holidays, I do like to send thank you cards out. So I use those too. So that's it for right now. Um, check out the video description for the links I mentioned. And also, if you'd like to support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups that I'm in, uh, you can do that by clicking on the link tree list of links and it's gonna have different um, websites you can go to to support the free content, including Etsy, Patreon, and a bunch of other stuff. It also has my Instagram and my Twitter and stuff like that. So if you just wanna uh, follow me on social media to see what I get up to every day, there you go. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the uh, below the video. I will get back to you, I promise. And that's it for right now, everybody. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.